This is uh, urban fishing at its finest. Oh, you just got hit, you got hit, you just got hit. No way, dude! Let's see one. You want to eat him? You want to eat him? This is steak bag. You're going in. Welcome back to Worth Wild. We are out here in Miami, and uh, supposedly there's a uh, hurricane, Hurricane Helene, I think that's her name. Yep, just doing a little pond hopping, which is what me and Jules grew up doing, pond hopping around Birmingham looking for largemouth bass, but right. now we're looking for what? Basic species, snakehead, and the peacock bass, maybe some others. Who knows, it's a uh, big fishery. You never know what you're gonna catch. So we just found a couple ponds on Google Maps. There's one right behind us. Let's uh, take these live chat we just got Get on. and go find them. Everybody, this is uh, urban fishing at its finest. Usually we're going through mangrove creeks and stuff, but now we're cutting across roads. Hey, we have been we love doing this stuff. This is what we used to do. This is how we got into fishing, which is pond hopping, finding random spots on maps and just going, you never know what you're gonna catch. You see that one up there on that Did pipe? you see that going down? They're fired. They're in the pipe. There's another one. See where that oh, one's I going? There's a bigger one. Oh, look, Thomas just got one in. That went. Oh, he got oh, it. Oh, he got it. Set it. Set it. No, he didn't get it. Oh, he, oh. he chased it up. He chased it up. Oh. Right, let's see the live right here. Let's see how long. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Tom is on a beach. Oh, a nice one. Hi, oh, dude. Those are such cool looking fish. That orange stomach. Beautiful. Get a little picture of this guy. I'm throwing back. Oh, yeah. All right, everybody, we're switching. We're not switching, we're going in. We wanted to try and get him from the hey, fence. Don't get, don't get too close to the water. Yeah, let's do this thing. Oh. Come on. Dude, they're following us. Girls. Yes, sir. This, everybody. Oh, look, look. They all follow it. So far. Here we go, everybody. Oh, Peacock bass. Oh, dude, Jules got a nice, nice beauty. Oh, that's a male, ain't it? Yep, that's a male. I gotta throw him right here, so. Him back. He'll be just fine. Beautiful. It's a tough fish. Now the beast is going towards it. Oh. No way! Got he, got, he got the beast! He got the beast! Don't lose this fish, Jules Horn. <laughs> no freaking way, bro. That's a nice one. Holy cow. That's a beast. Solid fish, dude. Nice peacock. This guy was on a bed and he didn't want to eat, but they don't even have to be hungry. If you just annoy them enough, they're going to eat it. He slapped it. Please. There he goes, right back to his bed. Hi everybody, we're back in the Kerr in the Land Rover, going to a, uh, a new spot. Jules has been searching on Google Maps for the best spots, and that was our first spot, and we kind of nailed them. But uh, we'll see y'all in the next one. Should I go over there to that? Does it look worth it to fish it? Yeah, I think maybe so. Yeah, I mean that part, that uh, apartment looks pretty easy to go to. Hi right, everybody. What if I gotta take a ride? Up, trying to pick out the spots. Oh. We gotta get this stuff. We gotta get to the canal fast. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're on the hunt. We're on the hunt. A lot of iguanas. Oh, that looks good. You can tell there have been some locals. <laughs> yeah. There's a, there, look at the iguanas. Oh, yeah, we got an iguana. Iguanas. Away. What? <laughs> oh, there he goes. Right there, everybody. Oh, he don't care about us. Look at that. Oh, my God, he just went under the water. You know those things can swim? Yeah. Well, there you go. They swim. <laughs> All right, how about we just walk over here at the gas station and then walk over there? <laughs> oh, yeah. Good idea. <laughs> Exploration. Mobile, Mobile Mart. Yeah, we're used to being in the middle of the Everglades and Flamingo and that country, but now we're walking through gas stations to go fishing. Oh, a bunch of peacocks right here. Throw in there, hurry. Oh, I'm on, I'm on Zoom. Throw in oh, there. Oh, Thomas, come over here and throw in that oh, little hole. Throw in that little hole. <laughs> Thomas, throw in that little hole, hurry. Just drop it in the hole. Watch Thomas, Fred. <laughs> Hurricane Helene is here. Little Got him. Oh, oh, look, oh, look, look at Thomas, look at Thomas. Oh, nice one. There's so many right there. 
All right, everybody. Y'all, y'all obviously just saw that. We just hooked in like three back. All right, to back. Fred, you ready? Watch Jules. I'll right. get one. All right, guys, check me out. See how fast I can get bit. You ready? One, two, <laughs> two seconds. Oh, I missed him. You about to get eight. Everybody. <laughs> <There he is. laughs> Can't make this stuff up guys. This is just one spot. We're not even walking. It's just this current. I mean, they're not big ones by any means, but they're still so fun to catch. Look at the tail on these fish. They're so cool looking. Crazy, crazy. So many of them. Alright, I'm fishing now, so let's see if we can't get us something real quick. Like down, just like toss right, it right there. Right yeah, just toss here. it right where it was. Yep. Let some line out. You about to eat it? He ate it. Set it. <laughs> nice <laughs> one. Big large mouth. <laughs> all the way to the tip. All the way to the tip. <laughs> no way. Grab it hard. Yeah. Look at that nice thing. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right. Let's get this guy back in the water. That's Oh yeah. That's the, is that Fred's biggest yeah. largemouth? I think so. That's Fred's biggest largemouth. Big mouth bass. Yes sir. We're gonna go find some more spots. What do you say, Jules? We're gonna load up, go to another spot. There, we got so many canals that just come in and out of here that you never know where. It's just like the Everglades, it all looks good. But hey, here it actually is all good. Stick with us, let's catch some bigger fish. Where can we get through right here? Can we get through right here? Deep, deep, deep. What's up all the snow shells? Nope. Hey, well, let's see if we can hop them in the water. Go, boy. <laughs> That's so wild. They just they just swim like darts. And I'm getting wrecked with an awesome time. Uh, all right. We're trying to find the park. <laughs> Guys, we're on a snakehead. Hell, land it, land it. Where is it? It's, a, it's a big one. It's a big one. It's a big one. Woo. Thomas. <laughs> He's not going in. Big ass snakehead. No. You, want, you want to eat him? See how hard he was fighting? I had to get that hook out with the. Let's carry him out to the car. You want to eat this thing? Yeah, sure. Okay. Oh, dude, those dude, things are supposed so to be strong. really good. All right, we're going to eat this guy. Did we you get that on video of me fighting it? Yeah, you, you got him on video. Yeah. Um, we were not really uh, planning on doing this snakehead catch clean cook, but Jules said they're decent eating, so it's worthwhile. We're going to give it a shot. This is a crazy fish. <laughs> I mean,. I've never held a fish like this before. It feels like I'm holding like a python or something. But that's why they're called snakes. I guess they're pretty much just like snakes. I don't really know about this, but where are you going to eat them? Be. Going in the cooler. All right, everybody. We're moving in. This spot looks crazy. They're chewing. Oh. There we go, everybody. They're chewing over here. Look at that large mouth. You got a large mouth too? Yeah, Jules just caught a largey. Little guy. Oh yeah. Little guy. Large mouth. Large mouth base. That's a big mouth. Big mouth. So we're at the last spot. We only got a few baits left. We got like five dozen baits and used them all. And we almost caught a fish on like every single one. So hey, we can see if we can catch a snakehead or a big peacock here. Get back with it. Take that fucking from your buddy. It's a blue big blue gill. Blue gill, dude. Fish. Damn, that fish hurts. Worth. Oh. That's a big one. Oh. 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 Big one. Oh. Let me just go back into this pipe. You still see him? Yeah, dude, right here. Two of them, but one's a nice one. Dude. Dude, if you feed it to him, I have the coolest shot. Oh, right here, that yeah. one? Uh-huh. That is a nice one. No way, dude! No way! I just got that whole eat. I just got that whole eat. Unreal, bro. Oh, yeah. Beauty. Nice one. It's got a nice release on it. Oh! Stoked. Nice, nice, nice. 
Straight down. See him right there? See him right there? Yep. <laughs> He's a little spooky. You about to go to it? Oh Big yeah. One. <laughs> nice one. Big one. Man, look how much he's pulling. Oh my lord. Damn, he's dogging. Ready? Yes, sir. Nice. On the last, last shiner. Ready? Oh, oh. oh they go off so fast. Can you tell? Biting. Yeah, well, that's it. It's nice when you run out of bait because you're catching so many fish. Yeah, five dozen shinas, we ran through that in like two hours. Not even that, if you take out the driving just sufficient, but that's it, y'all. Urban fishing in Miami for peacock bass. But I guess we have a snakehead to catch clean cook, so uh, that'll be pretty interesting. We'll see y'all back at the flight table. All right, everybody. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, everybody, we are back in Boca Raton, Florida at Jules' place. Now, like I said, we're doing a snakehead catching cook. Uh, we actually just went to the flay table, got it all flayed up and everything. The camera was kind of getting all foggy and stuff, so we had to, uh, we just had to get a couple B-roll shots on the, on the telephone. But we have something interesting to do today. This is snook, this is snakehead. We're frying both with the same batter, same ingredients, everything. We wanna see if one's better than the other. Um, I think there might be a clear winner, but like I said, none of us have ever tried snakehead before, so it's gonna be really interesting to see how it goes, but oil's getting hot, and uh, we have buttermilk and seasoned fish fry, and we're gonna get these things seasoned up, thrown in the grease once it starts to start popping, and uh, see what's better, snook or snakehead. Stay tuned. So we got the snakehead here. It's pretty tough meat, like Rick was saying, but we're gonna stick it in this buttermilk first. Put it in the batter. Make sure that junk's covered up. Cajun seasoning fish fry. Good stuff. Yeah, get them in the bayou. <laughs> Down in the bayou. And we're gonna throw it back in here for a second. This snake head is gonna be way better. It's so good. What do you think, Tom? Snake I think, head? I think snake head is gonna be ten times better than the snake head. Okay. Hey, look, we got we got conflicting <laughs> opinions in here. We're gonna see what happens. All right. Gonna drop these things down there. Oh, buddy. Oh. I don't wanna put too much in at one time, so. Snakehead is cooked, what's what's that? This is the long awaited snook. Little pieces, but. That's <laughs> gonna be a big tender right there. Dang. Boom, boom. Snakehead, snook. We have three hungry guys. We're gonna see what's better. Of course, we're gonna start with the snakehead. We don't want to be biased, so uh, let's do it. This is the snake. It looks completely different too, but I mean, this kind of looks like chicken. All right, here we go. Let's see a little piece of it. We'll all take a nib at the same time. This is pretty big. No hot sauce on the first bite. That you yeah, we gotta be these authentic these taste. Hot. These are really hot. Kind of worried. All right, all right, boys. Oh my god, man. Wow. Not bad. I like fried catfish. It's really, it's actually really good. good. It's actually good. really good. I mean, we're not lying at all. That is actually really, do you like it? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, uh, maybe it's the fish fry, I don't know. Maybe it's cameraman Fred's chef skills. But uh, that is a actually very good tasting fish. Now, everyone's favorite snug. Will, um, our buddy actually went and caught this um, out here in Boca, so thank you, Will. Let's take a little, oh, these things are so hot. I'm just gonna take a little nib. I don't know, I really, oh, it's really good. The snook is amazing, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, the snakehead's pretty dang good. The texture of the snook's better, but the snakehead tends better. So. You think? Yeah, dude, I, I don't know. I Personally, I cannot say which one's better. I don't know, do you? I think this might taste it has more flavor because it has more of that fish fry. The fillets are a lot smaller, but these are a lot thicker fillets. <laughs> Those are huge. So it's it's super not, tender. It's, yeah, it's super tender, but like very thick. So you're getting a lot more of the actual fish taste as opposed to the breading. All right, everybody. We ate snakehead, and we're actually going to finish probably all of this tonight. If y'all enjoyed this video, we weren't. We just came over here because uh, you know Hurricane Helene came through, and we didn't want to be stuck in the Everglades. 
So we popped over here to Boca and Jules put us on a couple uh, peacock bass. So I had a great time and I, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was kind of just a laid back pond hopping, what we used to do when we were kids. It's how we started fishing, just riding our bikes around before we had cars, just going from pond to pond, looking on Google Maps and we're still doing it, it's still fun. So uh, I hope you all enjoyed and we'll see you on the next adventure of Worth Wild. Bye-bye.